So today we're going to be reading Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Okay, I really love this passage of scripture because I remember when I first got saved or before I got saved actually, that I wanted to be perfect for God. I wanted to um, be ready, be right with him before I came to him. And I'm not saying that was a necessarily bad feeling to have because consciously I knew that God was very holy and that was the standard that he acquired. But I was wrong in thinking it because I couldn't do it on my own. If I could be right on my own, why would I need to come to God? You know, there was no need for it. Um, so that's why I like this passage of scripture, um, because it reminds us that there is no possible way we can earn right standing with God without Jesus Christ. Impossible. OK, because Jesus did not wait. God did not wait for us to get right with him. He didn't wait for us to conjure up enough, um, if it was even possible, conjure up enough willpower and love for him um, to come to him. You know, Isaiah chapter 64 reminds us that there is none on this earth that does good, nor can they conjure up the, the will to do good. Read Isaiah chapter 64. Um, it's something I read quite often as a reminder of who I am. Um, just a reminder because I cannot earn salvation. None of us can. And uh, Romans chapter 5 verse 8 reminds us that while we were still sinners, while we were still doing our own thing, not paying Jesus any mind, Christ died for us. He died for us while we were being a hot mess. You know, so none of us have conjured up enough uh, holiness inside of us that we came to God on our own. We need Jesus Christ and we need him every single day. We need him and we are, we, we, we accept him when we realize that we are sinners in need of a savior. And I love this because when I realized Romans chapter five, verse eight, it was like, I was free. I was free from my own personal, uh, for the most part, <laughs> perfectionism. I was free from um, that tainted belief that Satan wanted me to believe that I had to somehow earn salvation. I wasted so many years um, trying to win the approval of God uh, by trying to do right, um, much like the Pharisees and Sadducees with so many religious um, ideologies and practices um, without depending on the grace of God given by Christ Jesus. Um, so Romans chapter five, verse eight truly reminds me in Isaiah chapter 64 reminds me that it's by the grace of God that we are saved because he died for us. He sent his own son to die for us while we were still sinners. He died for us. Brothers and sisters, if you are anything remotely like how I was, I want to implore you to forsake your personal efforts because they're going to produce nothing. And I'm certain that they've produced nothing thus far and rely on the grace and the mercy of God through the person of Jesus Christ because he died for you while you were still sinners he didn't wait for you to become holy because you will be waiting for ever before you'll be waiting for for infinity <laughs> to become holy on your own he died for you and he wants you to accept that and accept him and believe on him completely Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and comment below and share your thoughts. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok right here.